we talk about these file types, we've talked about Studio, Studio 3, DXF, SVG, and EPS. Those are all called cut ready files, meaning that if you're opening any of those, you will get the graphic open, but you'll also get the cut lines on it that you um, need from the get-go. You might have to turn them on like I showed you, but they're already there for you. The other two types of files we're gonna talk about are JPEG and PNG. And those two, although they're compatible with Silhouette Studio, they are um, not cut ready, meaning that if you open them, the cut lines aren't already there. You're going to have to either trace them or put them inside of a shape to cut them. So I'm gonna show you an example of that really quick. If I go to file, open just like I've been doing and I open um, this vintage flower you'll see um, the same flowers we've been working with one of the same types of flowers um, but you'll notice that number one it's all one piece there's no separate pieces um, defined in this the other thing is is really it's just a piece of clip art if I go and select it and then go to cut I can't turn on cut lines. It'll just, um, if I turn it on, it's just gonna cut a box around it where that bounding box is. Nothing's gonna happen. Um, so if I wanted to cut something like this, let's see, let's turn that off real quick. If I wanted to cut something like this, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm actually gonna have to um, either put it inside a shape, like a square or a circle or a pennant or something like that, or I'm gonna have to trace it. Um, this is not a tracing tutorial, but just to give you an idea, I'm gonna have to trace it this and then you'll see that I got cut lines on that flower they're not nearly as detailed um, or as intricate as what you might get um, in an SVG or a DXF file that you purchase um, but they're there you can use this for print and cut where you say printed this design out um, in color on vinyl or on paper or on sticker paper whatever you're using it for and then um, perfectly cut the outline of it. The other way um, that I frequently use these um, PNG or JPEG clip art files is to make party decor. It's super easy or um, planner stickers or um, any type of labels because you do take graphics and you put them in shapes. So what I could do is um, say I make want to make a cupcake topper. I might make uh, like a two inch, two and a half inch say um, round cupcake topper and I could just take this flower and I could put it inside this cupcake topper if I wanted you know a cute little thing and then maybe write some text in here like um, like it's a girl or whatever you're doing for the for the cupcake toppers. And then when you send it to your silhouette, you would do a print and cut again. You would print out the um, image and the text and then you would send it to your silhouette which would perfectly cut the round cupcake toppers out for you. So that's an example. The other thing to talk about this um, on um, the JPEGs and the PNGs are that just those two file types are a little bit different in that um, the PNG has this nice transparent background like we um, were talking about. As you can see, it's just the image. You can, it's right around the image and um, nothing else. If you open a JPEG file, I'll show you the difference. Um, actually, let's open it on the same one. If you wanna open something on the same one, you can just go to File Merge, and then, let's see. When I open a JPEG, it's not a transparent background, and what that means is, as you can see on this one, it's just the flower and you don't see anything else. This is gonna have the flower and it's going to have white everywhere else. So if you are trying to design with this, it can sometimes be a pain and PNG files are much um, much easier to work with in that sense. This will work fine if say you are putting it on um, a pinnet or something that this all fits in and there's no other things you wanna put on there with it or you, know, you can put over it if it's all white or something like that but for the most part I try to work with PNGs um, but that's just really the difference. If you have questions um, because we covered a lot today on the file types or how to open them or how to use them in Silhouette software then go ahead and leave me a comment um, on the post or on YouTube and um, I will try to get to those. Also if you want I have in my post um, a free download for a reference chart so that you can print that out and keep it by your silhouette or your computer station so that when you're designing, it gives you a quick cheat sheet for what kind of file types there are and what you need for your type of software. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Have a great day, and we'll see you back for lesson two, which is going to be all about groupings and compound paths. Thanks.